acorn mm -hmm. is pre is programmed to grow up into a tree. Yes. Um, if if things are directed how God wanted them, then why did He direct me to love women mm -hmm. as one loves men? Mm -hmm. All right, fam, so we are back with another video. Now, in today's video, we got a atheist, or supposedly atheist, okay? That's from what I've been seeing. Uh, you know, supposedly be an atheist, but uh, she was asking some tough questions. And one of the questions was, why would God make me a lesbian? I'm ready to answer this question myself. However, we're going to allow the person that is about to answer this question, answer the question. I'm going to get my thoughts at the end of the video. Well, without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe to the button, because you know, okay, I'm just ready to get in this video. I'm sorry. I don't know what that was, y'all. I had an energy drink, and bro, I am gibberish as heck. I need to stop drinking these energy drinks. I'm young. My heart rate, it, it should not be this high, okay? I'm a, like, anyways, let's go. You mentioned the acorn analogy that an acorn mm -hmm. is pre is programmed to grow up into a tree. Yes. Um, if if things are directed how God wanted them, then why did He direct me to love women mm -hmm. as one loves men? Mm -hmm. Well, the question might be, how do you know God directed you to do that, right? And there are a lot of things that go on in this world that all of us have. All of us have certain orientations to things we ought not do according to God, but yet we still do them. That's why we live with a fallen nature, right? All of us have a fallen nature. Um, should we expect that in this fallen world that God would give us a nature that wasn't fallen? No. No? So we're all struggling with sin. That's why we need a Savior. But because everyone, you and me and everyone in this room, needs the sacrifice that Christ provided. Regardless of what our feelings are, regardless of which way we're directed, based on nature or nurture. And as you know, there's a big debate over how much is nature, how much is nurture, uh, for all of our sexual orientations. But are my feelings inherently wrong to have? Are feelings inherently wrong to have? I don't think there's a way you can be blamed for having feelings. Look, I have feelings all day that I ought not act on. And sometimes I fail. But it's not the feelings that are the issue, it's the action that flows from them. Oh, th Actually, though, if you look... Bro, he just said what I was going to say, bro. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord. Okay. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm still going to get my thoughts at the end, okay? But, dang, that's crazy. I didn't think he was going to say that. All right. Look at what Jesus said. When you, when you look at Matthew chapter 5, Jesus actually ratchet is, is, ratchets up the standard. He says, if you're just angry with your brother, you're guilty. Well, thanks, Jesus. I don't have a prayer of living up to that, and I don't. He says, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. I can't do that. You can't do that. Nobody in this room can do that. Who can do it? Only he can. That's why we need him. So we all have these struggles, Sammy. I have struggles. You have struggles. But for us to say that God's at fault for these struggles, no, God's not at fault for the struggles. I don't believe that. Right. You don't believe what? I don't believe that he's at fault. I think we right. all make mistakes, but I don't think something so like something like love that's supposedly pure. It can be pure in the way that a man loves a woman or a man loves a man or a woman loves a woman. Who's to say that the way you love your wife mm -hmm. is any different from the way I'm going to love someone in the future, whether it be a man or a woman? Well, it's not me to say anything because I'm not the moral arbiter of the universe. That's true. Right? So I'm, I, I don't decide right and wrong. This is why when people come to me and say, well, don't impose your morality on me, like I said earlier, I said, this isn't my morality. I didn't make any of this up. In fact, there were things I wish were different, but I'm not the general manager of the universe. I'm not God. So I guess back to your, your question, you'd have to define exactly what you mean by love. What, is, what does love mean? Can you care for somebody of the same sex? Of course you can. I do. The question is, should you go further than that into some sort of romantic relationship? That's the question. I think you should. Well, okay, you can take that. You're, it's a free country. But scripturally, if you believe in the scriptures and if you believe in natural law, 
Define natural law. Natural law is the idea that everybody intuitively understands moral right and wrong on the big issues. That there's a natural design to us, there's a natural design to the universe, that we're intended to go in a, ter a particular direction, and that we know we're supposed to shun evil and we're supposed to seek the good. So, and you think that natural law was founded by, like, Christianity? No, 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 no. It existed long before Christianity. That's founded why, by God. for example, Noah, the entire generation of Noah was judged. They didn't have any scripture, they didn't have any Bible, but God expected them to know basic right and wrong because he had written it on their hearts. So you don't need the Bible to know basic right and wrong. Everyone already knows it. Now, we can suppress it, we can reject it, we can go our own way, and all of us do on occasion, but it's still there. Wow. That was amazing breakdown. Yo, that was an amazing breakdown. I don't even know his name. I done seen I done seen him before on my page, but I, I don't even know his name. But bro, that was an amazing breakdown. Uh number one, I want to say this. When when it comes to us having certain desires, like like I like he said, our desires are not necessarily the it's not it's not sin it's not you know what i'm saying our desires are not sin all right y'all so i said this in my last video and i'm gonna say it again because i messed up again our desires are sin okay like i said i do not want to lead none of you guys astray but the reason why desires are are sin is because we have a lot of desires that are against god and when we have things that are against god that's what makes it sin. Even when you act out on those desires is what makes it a sin. Now, however, you can have a desire to have sex with a person. The reason why that is not sin is because we all have a natural desire to have sex. But what makes it sin is the fact that you want to have sex outside of marriage. And God made sex for the covenant of marriage. That's when it becomes a sin when you do it outside the will of God. Now, if you have a, a desire that you want to be with a boy and you are a boy, that's against the word of God. That is a desire from the enemy. The enemy, he is he wants you to act out on these things because you can rebuke these desires for the Bible tells us to cast every thought, every imagination now and make it obedient to Christ. So I don't want this clip to be too long, but I just hope that, you know, helped a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, without further ado, man, finish enjoying the video. But no, 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 let me, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. I'm sorry. Our desires that we have, that we we all have desires that are against God. We all have desires that are not of God. But it's when we act on those desires that make it be sin. Us having these desires, we're coming to a fallen world. We all have some crazy desires, you know, of the flesh. We we have flesh. We have flesh that wants what it wants. You know what I'm saying? The, the Bible tells us that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So we all have flesh that is weak. We all want things that are not of God because we come into a fallen world. However, we should not act on those on those desires that are not of God. We know when these desires are not of God, especially if you are believing in Christ, you know that, okay, I, I I shouldn't be, not even, you don't got to be a believer in Christ. You could just be a regular person. Like he said, you know the natural laws. You know what is wrong, what is right. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to, when it comes to LGBTQ, the problem, the biggest problem with that is the fact that you cannot be fruitful being in that, being in that field. You're basically taking what God wanted us to, to do and you're basically just taking that out the equation because you have love for another person and you want to come into a, 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 a emotional and physical relationship with that person. However, I can love you, but that doesn't mean I have to take it above, ab further. You know, I don't have to take it further than that. You feel me? Because my love for you is meaning that I will be there for you no matter what. I will have your back no matter what. But that doesn't mean that we have to take it into a physical, sexual, emotional relationship. Point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? Even if I have those desires, when your allegiance, my pastor said this on Sunday. He said, when your allegiance is with God, you will all, you will say no to the things that are against him. No matter if you want to do these things or not, when your allegiance is with God, will you make an oath with God and you say, look, I accept you as my Lord over my life. I accept you, Jesus Christ, as Lord over my life, meaning that my allegiance is with you, which means that even if you say no, I won't do these things, even if I have the desire 
fire. So you may say, no, this is bad for me and I shouldn't do this because my allegiance with you, I am going to deny uh, I'm going to deny my desires and to follow your will for my life because you know me better than I know myself and you know what I need and what I want. You feel me? And that, that's what we have to come into a, a realization is like, okay, Lord, help me with my desires. I have desires to like men or I have desires to like women. I'm a woman that likes women. I'm a man that loves men or likes men, whatever you want to say. However, we have to come to the come to Christ and say, Lord, help me with these desires. Help me to have desires of you and not of the flesh, Lord. I want my desires to be changed. I don't want to have the desires no more. And when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are now filled with the Holy Spirit. So now that you have the Holy Spirit in you, it's going to be so easy for you to reject those desires. Like I said before in one of my videos, you will literally have to, like, you will literally have to sit there and, like, walk around trying to sin because now it's in your nature. Now that you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's in your nature to not want to do what is wrong. It's, it's, it's actually in our nature now without the Holy Spirit to not want to do what is right or what, I mean, what uh, what is wrong and want to do what is right because we all come from God. We all come from one source. We all come from the same father. But what I mean is that now that I'm with God, now that I'm, now that I'm with Christ and I have a relationship, I don't want to, I don't want to upset him. I don't want to uh, to go against his will for my life. So now when it comes to, oh, I have a desire to watch porn. Now I'm just like, nah, I don't want to, nah, because I fear God so much that I don't want to let him down. It's like when you, when, when, when you have a father, when you have a father in your life, uh, a physical father, an earthly father, when you have an earthly father in your life, certain, or even earthly parents, certain things you don't want to do to upset them. Even if you have that desire to do certain things, you don't want to do because you don't want to upset them. You don't want their wrath to come upon you when you, when you fall short of their glory, when you fall short of their, their righteousness or however you want to say it. I'm just saying as in a general sense that like, we have to do better when it comes to our desire. We have to be, a, we have to be able to be strong enough to ask the Lord, like, look, Lord, I need your strength to be able to overcome these desires, to be able to not fall into these desires. That's what we have to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, we all have messed up desires. We all have desires that are against God, but we cannot act on those desires. No matter what, no matter what, make sure your allegiance is with Christ. Make sure your allegiance is with Christ. When your allegiance is with Christ, you will say no to these desires because he says no. He say no. I created the men and women. Even though you wanted to be man and man or women and women, he created men and women. So you saying no, Satan, no, Satan. I don't want that desire. No, Satan. I'm not going to do what it is that you want me to do. I'm doing what it is that my father wants me to do. Because what if I do what I want to do, that's the same way that you got kicked out of heaven, Satan. You got to really be, you got to really like be strong, be strong in this, be strong in this. And sometimes it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard at times to, to want to follow the spirit and not the flesh, but you got to be strong and you got to know that Christ is, he's rewarding you for that. He's rewarding you for not following your flesh and following your spirit. I love y'all, man. I hope this video helped a lot of you. Okay, why would God make me a lesbian? I, I hope this video helped a lot of y'all, man. This video was powerful, bro. Powerful. A lot of things that I said, he already said. So it's like, dang, like, bro, I, you feel me? Like, I'm just saying, you know? But anyways, um, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. It's been your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.